there in the second half? It seems like you kind of got more comfortable if they let you throw a little more. Yeah, I mean, they they trusted me the whole game. You know, the second half, I trusted my team. You know, we weren't down in the half. We were far up in the half because we were still in the game. You know, our defense did a great job. You know, offensively, we, we, we really fought back in the second half. I think we had, like, two 90-yard-plus drives. So, you know, we it's really, I mean, we did really good on those, so we just got to keep that up. Did you feel that momentum change? It was, I think it was a 98-yard and 95-yard drive. I mean, that's just back-to-back. -back. Yeah, I mean, once we got the momentum, we just kept it rolling. You know, that's what you got to do in games like this. Once you get that momentum, you got to keep it up. When you were throwing those darts. When did you feel you started to settle in this game? Uh, really after the first drive. And I think we were moving the ball well the whole game. You know, our O-line did a really good job. Our running backs did a really good job. So really after the first drive, I think I was, I was settled in. You know, those. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was a good first drive, but, you know, there's still some things I, re I need to clean up. Coach said afterwards in the second half, it felt like they needed to kind of cut you loose, let you play quarterback a little bit. Do you agree with that statement? Or you, yeah, I mean, I – kind of handcuffed in the first bit. I wouldn't say I was handcuffed. You know, we, we were still moving the ball well in the first half. You know, obviously we didn't really take any shots in the first half. Uh, we kind of opened it up a little bit in the second half, and our receivers made some good plays. Yeah, just to be able to – like you were letting them make plays, right? You were giving them 50-50 balls to, to go make plays, and to see them kind of do that for you, what, what did that mean to you? Uh, I mean, I, I have faith in those guys. You know, real, you guys say 50-50 balls. It's really 80-20. So, you know, if, if they got a little bit of space, you know, I'm going to give the ball to them and let them make a play. That's what they do. Diami's De catch in particular, though, that was, that was something. Oh, yeah, that was, that was a hell of a catch, you know. It was a really cool moment. Me and him were be, both being from Charlotte. To have that moment right here was really cool. He made a play. He made a hell of a play. Do you feel any pressure going back to your home area, probably in a stadium you came to as a kid to play in? I wouldn't say any pressure. You know, really, I, I trust myself. I trust my teammates. I know they got my back. Uh, I was just trying to seize the moment and take advantage of this opportunity. You know, this is this is what I dreamed of. You know, being back in my hometown, playing in front of all my all my close people. So you know, it was awesome. What was that? Uh, you know, it meant a lot. You know, I, that's one of the reasons I stayed close to home to play at UNC, just so that people could have the opportunity to see me play. So just knowing that all those people were here for me, it was, it was a really cool feeling. What was different about those two plus yard drives than maybe some of the others? Uh, I wouldn't really say anything was different. You know, we fought the whole game, but we were just rolling. And we had some momentum, and we just kept it going. Uh, we picked up the tempo a little bit, and I think we wore the defensive line out a little bit. So. We just kept the momentum rolling. What was the locker room? Physically, physically, though, I mean, you, you did take some shots, right? I mean, how are you feeling, and are you going to? Yeah, you know, I'm feeling all right. You know, I took, I got myself in situations where I took some hits. So, you know, we'll look at film and clean that up. I mean, I, my old line did a really good job keeping me protected. I'm sorry, Sam. Were you cramping at some point during the game on the TV? Said you were yeah, late in the game, I was cramping a little bit. Where so, were you? Yeah, I was, I was actually cramping in my right hand. So, you know, we, it, so we, we got taken care of. I went hard, I and mean, when I came out the field, my training staff did a really good job helping me with that. So every time I was on the field, I was I was feeling fine. What was it like in the locker room after their game and seeing Mac Brown dancing? Just uh, it was awesome. You know, it was an awesome feeling just seeing the smiles on these guys' faces. You know, we've worked so hard, and they deserve this. So it was it was really cool. Mac last said after the game that it was kind of a mix up between you and him on that fourth down at the end. What exactly happened there to give him the ball right there? At the end? Which one? Oh, yeah, I mean, they just, I trust him in the situation. He said take a knee, so I just listened. I mean, he's been doing this for a lot longer than I've doing it, so whatever he says, I'm going to go out there and do. Yeah.